What's going on guys, AFK Tech here. Today we're going to be doing a quick little update on my server setup. So in a couple of my previous videos, you guys saw my DIY server rack that I had set up and then also the PF Sense box that I just got done setting up and configuring. And today we're going to be showing you where exactly it's going to be going. So this is my new server rack. So as you can see, it's a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more enterprise-like. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go through what I have set up in here and all that fun stuff. So just to start off uh, up at the top, so I have a Cat6 patch panel here. So this is new. Uh, I got it on Amazon for like 25 bucks. It's got keystone jacks, so a lot of them are empty right now. And this is where all my wiring comes in for um, out my, throughout my house, as well as going to my access points, and then some of the servers I actually have inside the same cabinet. And then what just came today um, is this 3750E Cisco switch. So I'm gonna start working on a little bit more of a Cisco iOS set up and this is how I'm going to get down into the nitty-gritty of switching for network stuff this is the old switch the Netgear switch that it replaced maybe I'll do a giveaway with this because I don't really have any use for it anymore and I figure that's a good way to spark spark up a little bit more of an audience I got my SB6141 modem that brings in my 175 by 25 Comcast connection and then I have a monitor stand and a keyboard pullout so this came with the server rack so I got the server rack from the same uh, client that I got that one use server that I set the PF Sense on. I'll put a link down the video, down in the video description to that one. Um, so I got old PS2 keyboard hooked up here, and that's just for doing a little bit of administration work. So on the screen right now we have the ESXi um, basically landing page. So right now on that one use server I set the PF Sense up on, I do have ESXi running on it. Um, <coughs> it really didn't pan out to be a good PF Sense box because. It's really loud, sucks a lot of power, and it's hot, and that's why it's loud, because the fans have to spin up so much. So I think it's going to get completely taken out. Right now I'm just playing around with ESXi. Problem with that is it only has 2 gigs of memory, which is absolutely horrible for um, ESXi and running virtual machines, because RAM is king in that situation. I even had to actually bypass ESXi's um, memory check, because it typically does not let you install uh, without having at least four gigs of RAM. Um, so that's going to go. I'm planning on getting a Dell R210 too to replace that and to start doing a little bit of ESXi work and that will eventually have my PFSense VM on it as well. So then down here we have my uh, Think Server TS140. Uh, this is that Lenovo server I did a review on. I'll put a, a link down in the video description to that. So that's running a Windows 2012 R2 as well as handling all my Plex operations and kind of just my go-to server whenever I want to set something up or tinker with it. The only thing that I don't like about it is I'm not a huge fan of Windows from a server perspective. Usually Linux is a little bit easier, um, Ubuntu or CentOS or something to actually stand up quickly, you know, HTML or HTTP sites and all that fun stuff, web servers and whatever. So then down here is my HP box. So this is actually what's running the PF Sense right now for everything. And then to the right of it, I have my FreeNAS box, which has six one terabyte blacks in it, uh, Core i5-750. I've done a quick little video on that before. Um, not much to it. I don't even have it powered on right now because I don't really have anything automated to it. So it doesn't really make sense for me to have it on because I only use it sporadically. So we'll go ahead and take a look around the back here. So this is just all being powered by a 15 amp outlet. Let me see if I can get some power here get some light here for you guys so this is being powered by a 15 amp outlet um, I'm thinking about going a little bit bigger I don't necessarily need it but a lot of the UPS not UPS PDUs on eBay uh, have bigger power connectors and my family is a family of electricians so it won't be a big deal for me to put in a new service here especially considering I'm in an unfinished basement um, so I have my kilowatt hooked up there right now I think we're pulling about 300 watts which is not bad at all um, especially considering that nasty 1U loud uh, server is pulling most of it at about 80 or 90. So this is the back side of the rack. Um, so I got the Cisco switch up there on top. You can see the patch panel up there. You can see through some of the keystone jacks. Um, and then I got my monitor back here. Let's see if this gets back into focus. So then I got my monitor back here um, and then some cable management. I need to do a little bit more. This isn't really my official setup yet so I didn't really go too crazy with the velcro straps or zip ties. Um, this PDU, this big power strip here, surge strip, um, came with the rack as well. It was just in there, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, don't really need anything fancier than that. 
<clears throat> than that, but I'd like to get a UPS, that way things don't need to go through a full power cycle and the power just goes out a little bit. There's the back side of that 1U, and then the back side of the box is down here. Um, so that's about it for me right here on this little uh, server vlog. I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm up to, um, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated as I get more um, devices into this rack. Uh, it is a beast. It weighs about 520 pounds empty, and who knows how much once I get it filled up a little bit more. Um, so. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I'll definitely get back to you. If you guys want to see some more server videos, make sure to let me know. I'll probably get a little bit more into the virtual machines once I get um, a little bit more powerful host for them. Um, be sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Leave an upvote if you enjoyed this video. Put a downvote if you didn't. And leave a comment for me so I know why it was good, why it was bad, and what I can work on in the future. Thanks, guys.